Roger, Dodger, sports fans, this is a uh, early morning mission. It's not been to Kip yet, but it's uh, about 10 o'clock, so it's just a definite all nighter. But, but I had to have this done, so this is a Tesla turbine. Uh, I'll just try, I don't really want to move it from its current position. I've got it hooked up to this motor here just to show you some of its capabilities. You know how talky it is because everybody says, why don't you hook a load up to dead right? And there is a load hooked up to this one. So that, yeah, I, this is thanks mainly to this dude who made a really, really good Tesla turbine in the workshop look like CNC plastic or something. Somebody commented, well mine does not look like CNC plastic, but nevertheless, it will work. So, uh you can get an idea of what it's like inside there, the bearing. It's made of MD MDF glued together, glue gun together. And it's probably about 10 or so, and maybe a few more CDs with CDs scissored, use, use scissors to cut into a square shape, um, you know, to separate the, make a gap in it. The drill hole, I just drilled four holes in it, like small holes, not particularly big, about yeah, millimetres, about oh, five millimetres or something, not even that, I didn't think it would work. They've not been aligned particularly well, because they all moved about, uh, and it's a bike axle, and there's some bearings on either side. I managed to take the top off a motor and use the bearing that was inside the motor. Uh, so it's made of MDF and this is like a box from Asda. I had to go out to get it in the middle of the night because I just it, I wasn't sure it's going to work though. But so uh, let me just go and get something that I could do. We're getting for it. Critical. This it's not exactly critical. But it's not an advert either for a well-known product that we like to use because I've put. It's got bearings in it, hasn't it? Except they're getting water all over them. So now it's got a bit of WD-40 on it. The motor can have a bit of WD-40 and all, because that probably doesn't like being in the sink. And now for the final, for the feature, should I say, presentation, is crank it up and show you what voltage it makes. Well, we do the amps first, so it's hooked up to amps at the moment. And uh, I'll show you. Oh. First of all, that's like, this is it running. I'll just give you a brief demonstration. Oh, fuck no, of it running. So, you can see. <laughs> Try and crock it up. Yeah. Oh. Right, hang on a sec. Let me put you put you down for a minute. Alright, sorry about that. For some reason the uh, shaft seems to come off the a bit. Right, so you can see. One problem is water goes everywhere. I'll cope with that for the video today. Right, so there it is turning that small rate. And we're getting 120 milliamps. 0.12 coming on. Let me uh, boost it out a bit. Luckily, it seems to work quite well like that. I mean, the pipe will probably flip off and then I'll have to panic and drop it out. But it's turning the motor. <laughs> I can't always fucking stag it, it works. I can't believe it works. Very much thanks to that guy's video, and at this point, we're making a quarter of an amp. Crank it out a bit more and max it out. Oh shit. 
Oh shit, I'm flooding the fuck out of my sink here, so. Normally I have a bit of that on there to stop that from happening. Shit. Flooding the fuck out of the sink area in. Never mind, it's only a rented house, isn't it? Fuck it. <laughs> Do say that, not loud, fuck it. Let's crank it up again. Shit, the bar stopped on it again. Anyway, what's the point? You could see there we were we were getting 300 milliamps, uh, and the voltage was about well. Oh, just I'm too much of a perfectionist not to do it. Bollocks to it. It's because the bar keeps slipping off there, but it's worth doing. Put it on volt. One sec, I'll be right back with you there. Out. Right, put it on volts now. Connected the bar back, back up. So, that's what's happening down there. That's what's happening there, that's volts now. No. Yeah. So, 0.17 volts. 18. I know it's a dead low amount. That's maxed out that. Doesn't look as if it can be out. I'm gonna get into four three. And I'm gonna bring it back down a bit. I've had it up to had it up to six hundred milliamps before. Um So, uh, basically, it works. It just needs gearing up. And because it's torquey, that's another thing. I try to stop the motor. How torquey is it? People are wondering, aren't they? Like, try to stop the motor with your fingers. Oh, man. I'm going to do it. It would just burn the hell. It just took uh, <laughs> the hell out of my fingers. So, it's more than torquey enough to turn that a wee bit faster, I would have thought. So, uh, in conclusion, yeah, I'm just, I'm rather pleased with myself, to be honest. Let's have a look at it a little bit closer, because you've seen it run now, let me just put that down. So, take the motor off it. Right. So, how did I make it? Because this is one, this isn't no CNC thing that you can't make yourself. This is this is made out of the, a, the axle off a kid's bike, a box, plastic storage box thing from Asda, a load of old shitty CDs. Uh, it, that metal thing there with the screws on is the cap off a, a sort of 20, a 12 volt motor, 100 watt motor, I think. Uh, when it holds the bearing in the top of it, that was rather useful to its construction. Obviously, you find what you can find though, and it it would work even if it was just a spindle, a metal bar. That's just MDF. MDF to hold the bearing in. In that one holds the bearing in place. The the outer one. It's like holds the bearing from falling out. That's the shaft still sticking, but you know it was. Uselessly small shaft. That one uh, sort of is the base of it all. At that level, that level stops that from moving about. Um, we could do. Well, I don't even need sealing, as you saw. It worked, didn't it? But maybe if I sealed it, it might work a little bit better. Uh, the CDs, uh, if you can see on that, there's like. CDs cut just into a square, so because I thought it would vibrate and it'd be the easiest shape I could cut. You could cut be more careful. I was really haphazard with doing this, uh, and you can see the bolts that hold it in place, sort of thing, up against the bearing in that uh, plastic job. Just look how uneven it is, and all. It's not like it's even. 
it's crazy looking but it works to quote some crazy flying scientist named Picard wicked yeah I'm rather chuffed with myself and I'll be even more chuffed with myself when it's not making let's have a I'm just trying to think what what wattage I'm getting out of it so it was half a watt no no I can't I can't do the sums it's, I'm just too tired to be asked doing the sums but I'll figure it out in a bit when I'm looking at the video and type, type the shit on there or something but all in, all in all this is a Tesla turbine that you can make yourself with ease with things you've probably got lying around your house <laughs> and ain't that something that I'm pretty proud of it and I'm proud to give it away on YouTube so anyone who's desperate for some energy or whatever off some water it's staggering that it works it, it, it turns so much that I couldn't stop the shaft I mean another shaft's only tiny but it's torque it's proper torque it's like at least as torque as a power mm, it's a power drill that's running out of batteries or something like that maybe but Anyway, not bad for uh, for free, but thanks very much to that dude who had that video. And what else can I say, you know, I just... Yeah, there's a good look round so you can figure out how to make one if you want to make one yourself, but... Yeah, well impressed. Tesla, what a guy. Big up, Tesla. What absolute maniac sitting near all that spark and shit, so there's no doubt that the guy could come up with something simple but effective like this and he did say it was one of his greatest inventions didn't he so it rolls nice and free man it really does whip so yeah I'm gonna douse it with WD-40 and then upload the video so yes Tesla Turbine oh yeah in a bit